And we seem to be in the way of our own winter weather, just not as uh, severe as what California saw with that five feet of snow. But joining us now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Larson with a breakdown of our weather. It uh, feels a little icy out there tonight. Yes, especially north of Sioux City. That's where we've had an expansion of some of our winter weather advisories right. and ice storm warnings. So it looks like things are going to be rather treacherous for the Tuesday wake up. And make sure that you're being careful out there tonight as well. Dreary and damp conditions are expected through much of this week with periods of rain, ice, and snow. Looks like we'll have quite the gauntlet to get through until this weekend. And we'll start to clear out the skies some, but then the temperature is really going to drop off with highs in the teens and 20s through the extended forecast. And and overnight lows taking a dip below zero next week. Here's the view outside now from our Ho Chunk Center camera. This is posted in downtown Sioux City, brought to us by Port Neal Welding Company. And we've had that mist and drizzle through much of the day. It's intensified over the last hour. 34 the high temperature, 30 the low temperature so far today in Sioux City. Temperatures continue to hover near the freezing point. It is 30 degrees outside in Orange City now, 32 in Sioux Falls, 32 the update from Yankton. Meanwhile, it's just a little bit warmer to the south southwest as you can find a temperature of 36 in Norfolk and Neely. So that's likely to diminish any sort of chance of frozen precipitation down that way. But a bigger deal as you travel toward the Iowa lakes where there's already some roads where travel is not advised by the Iowa DOT. The wind has also been strong today. We currently have that ramped up between about 15 and 30 miles per hour sustained from the east southeast. Gusts up to 35 miles per hour in Spencer and Sheldon closing in on 40 in Storm Lake, 29 miles per hour in Carroll, 22 in Wayne. Visibility also diminished in spots related to the drizzle and rain that's coming down. Three miles of visibility now in Takema, two in Albion, and a mile and a half in O'Neill. Here's a loop of the radar through the previous six hours. It shows that we have rain across most of Siouxland, but as you travel further north, that's where we have some colder temperatures and where we have that flip over into pink as you approach Plymouth County. You can see that that is where we have uh, some more ice that is currently falling at this time and also continuing up Interstate 29 toward Sioux Falls. There's a look at the latest updates on the alerts from the National Weather Service. We do have winter weather advisories posted for Storm Lake and Buena Vista County stretching eastward there as you get into parts of Calhoun County as you can see and then into Sioux County, Plymouth County and much of southeast South Dakota. It looks like the worst of the ice is going to be accumulating as you get into the Iowa Great Lakes and then up toward Lyon County. That that is where the Weather Service has elected now to put out an ice storm warning. That also includes the Sioux Falls Metro. So there could be some spots that receive as much as a half an inch of an icy glaze. So that could cause some power outages. It could also cause some tree limb damage, things of that nature with the accumulation of the ice. As I was mentioning, the DOT is also recommending no travel on the roads that you see there. Highway 18 or uh, also um, Highway 71 and also Iowa 9 near the Iowa Lakes. So again, inside of that purple region toward Clay County, make sure that you are staying home as that's where the worst of the icy conditions are currently being observed. Looking at the storm cast now, it does look like as we get to midday tomorrow, temperatures will be able to bump up just enough that we'll be able to erase that ice and bring about some more rain, but it'll be just in liquid form. So that'll be a nice change. Then as we go through tomorrow, it looks like we'll stack up a fair amount of rain before a change over to some snow on Wednesday. And that system is going to slowly pinwheel its way across the map. As far as precipitation amounts go, many of us will receive about an inch. So that would be a good soaking for us in what has been the driest year on record so far in Sioux City. And again, that ice is going to be a problem as we continue into tomorrow morning. So please stay home if possible. Looking at the 9 on 9 forecast, you can see that we are going to have things clear up some for the weekend. Still windy though. Highs between 20 and 25 degrees. Falling further into next week with highs at about 10. There's that overnight low of four below zero Tuesday night into Wednesday. There's another small chance of snow also next Monday. Below zero temperatures. I don't know that anyone's really ready for that, but uh, everyone who was complaining we had too warm of a summer and a fall, you're getting your wish. Yeah, you know, we were uh, living the charmed life there for a while with those temperatures far above average, yep. but really looks like that wintry wake-up call is here.